What's going on guys? This is Azron. I'm going to pretty well rant at you guys. So today I was playing Fallout 76 like I usually do with some friends. And today well, there was a new zone in the White Springs Resort, and I thought, hey, why not get this last level at level 15? Or 115, I mean. So, basically, I am... Uh, let's see. There was these three guys in the parking garage, and I'm like, hey, those guys need, look like they need help. So, I kill a couple of their ghouls, and... This is totally way before I even got on the server, and apparently they sent everyone in the server a message saying, don't go touch White Springs, and I didn't even get a message from that, because I just logged in, well, like, right in the middle of it, so, basically, I didn't even know what they were doing. All I just wanted was XP. Accidentally hit one guy named... Hold on, let me grab it up here. Let's see... Their name is... Lieutenant Dan94. That's the guy I accidentally shot. With, this, with my TSE lever action. Well, he didn't mean to shoot him. Therefore, and this other chick, I forgot what her name is, started shooting at me. So I just run over to my friends. They they left me alone for a minute. I came back to bring them some fresh water and some foods and stuff like a nice player would. Shot at me. So I ran back. They chased me. I shot both Lieutenant Dan and the girl, took the girl's stuff, like junk, and all hell just broke loose. So <clears throat> here's what Lieutenant Dan, well, here's what I said about, I said, control your woman. Then he's like, you took my shit and started shit with us, so you should control yourself. Then I made the rebuttal, I didn't mean to hit you first time. Then he's like, give me my stuff back. I scrapped it and put it in my stash. Then I told him it's super, super easy to get his stuff back. And I told him a bunch of cool things. And I told him I came back to make friends and give you some water and foods. And he's like, I don't give a fuck about water. And so I offered food. Then he's like, give me my ju junk back or we will hunt you down if I'm not playing. Like, yo, enable find your junk box in, in the data things in your quest marker. And I took the girl's junk, not yours. And that was the end with the messages with Lieutenant Dan. I'll also save all his stuff too. Put them in... Yeah. Then his friend said, sent me a message, his name is Bullet4MV42069. He's like, yo, then I did the question mark. You bet then he said, you better give my buddies back his junk right now or it's gonna get very difficult for you to play the game. I'm not playing around. And I said, it's just a game. It's easy to get stuff back. He said, bro, I'm not kidding. And I like, dude, it's just a game. It's easy to get all it all back. So let's see. And he's like, give him the stuff back or your gamer tag and a month long bounty goes on your gamer tag. You've seen my level, I'm not playing. So basically at this point, he's threatening me. And then I said, I'm just going to put your gamer tag on Facebook and YouTube, and he'll get destroyed. So, he said, be my guest, I'm a mod, on two pages. Note, I am not in any Fallout group, community group. 
I was just gonna put it on 4chan, Reddit, YouTube, which is what I'm doing right now. And yeah. Then I told him my buddy's name, Exile Lotus. He's a pretty good guy. And yeah. And he's like, tell him to tell you to give back Dan's junk or he's getting a bounty too. Possibly a seven day mute. Then at this point, he uses my birth name, my surname. Then I'm like, I'm not saying anything bad. Then you can't get me a weak mute. I'm in a party with him. Then he's like, then he decided to pull the whiny ass bitch thing and says, you're being a poor sport. He's just worked for two to three hours for that junk. And you stole it all. Then, in PvP, if you kill someone, you could take their stuff. So, I told him, I killed him fair and square. Then he's like, you mean like how I killed you with my gamma gun and you stored his junk like a coward before PvP was even over. Then I said, still fair and square. So, yeah. Then he, then he's doing more threats, saying, "Yeah, you're getting a, a bounty on Reddit and six different Facebook groups. Enjoy that." And he has to have a lot of caps to even do that. If they, if he wants to pay people to hunt my ass down in games, so I was like, "I'm not sure you have the caps to do that," because. Mind you, he was a level 256. I highly doubt he would have that much caps unless he duped shit. So, um, so now he's just saying a bunch of other things. So, here's what he said: You are the kind of player that makes other players not want to play. I'm going to become that player and rid the post-apocalyptic Appalachia of you. They says, yeah, I have the caps. I'm not sure you do you, seeing how your level is above 50 and you are only dropped seven caps. Mind you, before all this shit happened, I spent all my caps on a anti-armor explosive combat shotgun for 2,000 caps, which is actually a pretty hell of a deal, if you ask me. Which is, I told him that. Then he's like, not my problem, you're Snipers and Redneck's friend, and they even said you were in, in the wrong, which, again, I killed him fair and square. Then I'm, being the cheeky little shit I am, I said, I'm enjoying this way too much. Then he started to lie and say I blasted his house apart and took Dan's junk. Well, my friend Boomers, which I only made one hole and I was attacking the girl, not Dan. And, uh, and, he's, and now he's just calling me names in this one screenshot of, his, of the chat. Just because you're acting like a ha trigger happy punk, then because I thought he said I blasted Dan's house, I said I did not blast Dan's house, and that's a damn lie. Then he corrected himself, saying I blasted my good friend's house. Then it's like he's my friend, and I repaired the damage, which. I did, because if I accidentally blow one of my friend's houses up, I'll just, you know, repair it. Then, again, he said, you blasted the house at White Spring Station, saying my first and last name. If you do not give Dan his stuff back, he, it will become very, very difficult for you to play the game. And he says this is his final warning. So, m more threats. And, yeah. I'll put all the thing, 
again, I'll put all the, the entire screenshots of all the chats up as well. So, then I said, I don't even remember, remember what he had on him. Give me a list of what he had in case I did steal his shit. Also, don't use my full name. I don't know you and I don't care to know you. Which I sure as hell don't want to know as this kid. And he says, yeah, I know Exile Lotus too. He used to do business back in the day. He said, 40 ballistic fiber, which is a lie. A bunch of hardened mass. Radiation fluids, which was a complete lie. And over a hundred lead and steel, which I did not take. I only had the amount I had. So I told him that. He's like, I don't care, give him all whatever I said you had. I'm not playing anymore. So again, I'm just saying flat out he's lying. So he said I was right about the high radiation fluids. Then he's like, Sure, it mix around. Then I explained to him I took the girl stuff. Their third guy or girl, not trying to assume genders or anything. Then I said, "Tell Dan to enable his uh, junk section, like his find his junk in the miscellaneous uh, quests." Then he gave me a list. Then, but apparently he couldn't pick it up because someone else already took it, which was not me. Then I tried to explain it wasn't. Then he was like, "Bounty's going up later." Then again, I said, "I didn't take his junk, so your argument is invalid," which it was. So, yeah. Then. He's trying to lie and say all my friends took it, which I did not. So, I said, nope. I sh Then I told him I shot him between the trees, which I did. And I think the uh, decaying thing of all like the bags is like, ah, maybe an hour? So this has been going on for about an hour now. Then the... Then he said, they're a part of groups too, so they'll easily vouch for me. Pyra said he didn't lose her junk, but I know she did, which wasn't anything at all, so. And apparently he got the message, which it never really gives you a message if someone takes your junk. Only when a, a supply drop, so. That is another lie. Note, my buddy said this kid is about, I think, 14, 15. Then he's like, still trying to, then I said it wasn't me that took his junk again. And you're really bad, and he's flat out calling me a liar, which I was not. So, I got fed up with this. Well, he's saying I'm a really bad layer and an even worse group member. Again, he's saying calling me by my first name, which still doesn't fucking know me at all. Therefore, I say, you know what? Come fight me, fool. I'm not in the in the Facebook group or any group. So, and apparently, they're s sending screenshots of each other of our messages, which. Kind of evade of privacy, which he could probably get banned for that. So, he's like, I've seen everything you said to Dan and his PMs, and that was enough to get you kicked. Then I, then I said, I am not in any group, so your argument is invalid. So, so he's like, you see, you were gonna post it on Facebook, which. I would, but I'm not in any follow-up group at all. So, then he's calling me a compulsive liar, which I'm not. Then he's, in caps, he's like, now I know you have his junk. Then I'm like, I don't. Now, now I say run along, little one. 
just to start to <laughs> aggravate him, which probably in my defense wasn't the best idea. So, he's threatening me and saying, you're getting a, a nice little, a nice uh, bounty and we're in a private server, which no private servers are in the game yet. So, again, another lie. He probably means a party. So, he said they're, they'll, be, they'll all be hunting you down, lol. Saying my first and second name, you made a big mistake just now, bye for now. Uh, then again, I say, run along, kiddo. Then my friend dies, and he... Okay, now this one's like, he's like, funny, you try to put the junk on the roof to cover your lies. Got that on capture. And it wasn't my junk. It, my friend uh, died from one of his buddies, and I was just sitting on his baggie so no one takes it. Which I explained that, and he did not. And basically, he's saying I would not take it because I'm not human trash. So basically, technically, he's calling me human trash. I and I said it was my friend's junk. I was just sitting on it. And he's like, right. I'm just gonna put a bounty on it, on everything here. Lots of dots on the map. So he's now he's getting my friends into this. So ah, uh, this is kind of turning into a long vi rant video, but yeah, again, threatening me and my friends. Now I said your argument's very invalid. I did not take Lieutenant Dan's junk. And by the time we're gonna end this, he could have gotten all that junk back. Cause then he's saying your existence is invalid because you are a terrible human being. And he, and he said, and this wouldn't have started if you were never have taken it in the first place, which I didn't, which I tried to explain him. And we told everyone to stay out of the nuke, and you were the only one who didn't listen. And mind you, when he told the people to not go into the nuke zone, I was still spawning in, and I did not get a message at all. So, I explained that, and I told him I wanted XP, and who freaking cares if I go into the nuke zone? How the hell can you claim a fucking nuke zone? Which, you can't! It's a fucking nuke zone for everybody! So basically, his entire fucking thing is invalid. Now, now he's just trying to be a dick and said, then go drop your own nuke and get your own material, then see how easily it is to get all that stuff back. Then I told him he and his friends are a joke, and he's like, because I dropped it and I was the only one in the server when it dropped, then I... I basically told him, it's just a game, don't take it seriously. Then, me being a cheeky little dick, I say, you mad bro? He's, then he's like, you messed... Now, here's where he blatantly threatened me. So he said, you messed with my friends, if this were real life, you wouldn't still be talking. Now, that is basically a threat, and I just reported his ass. So he'll probably get a nice happy comms ban for that. Then I was like, is that a threat? Then he's like, ticket however you want. He has multiple gamer tags to party chat with. And he's the lone wanderer. So a comm ban means nothing to him. Either way, you and everyone except my friend Sniper has a bounty on their gamer tags. I'm done with you. Then I was like, Then I'm like, okay, run along, little boy. Then he's like, I'm sticking around for the show. Then he's laughing, and he's got one of his level 260 friends to attack us named Super Saiyan. SSJ. I'll put his gamer tag up, because I was streaming one of them. Then I called, basically called him Yamcha, because we're decimating his ass. Then he's like, more than Jiren. And I'm like, no. 
Then basically, he's just talking shit. And more talking shit. Then later at the end, I blew, I basically destroyed his house. Just for shits and giggles. Probably not the best idea, because his guy went on me. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And right at the end of the video, I'll put the little screenshots of the chat with the little numbers of which one there, in it, there are. So, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, you can't go wrong without Azron. Peace.